next, we have Vavraj Thiti from Engineering, who is here to talk about detonation-driven aircraft engines. One of the biggest challenges of our generation is global warming. Whilst much of the world moves towards a combination of electric vehicles and renewable technology, the aerospace industry continues to be powered by fossil fuels. Unfortunately, the technology doesn't exist yet for electric aircraft, and it is therefore important that we continue to improve existing engine technology. Now, over the past 20 years, aircraft engine efficiency has improved by about 5%. But what if I told you that we could improve it by up to 20% in one go? To do this, we need to utilize a phenomenon known as detonations. Now, when I say the word detonation, you probably think explosion, the kind that's destructive and produces a lot of heat and pressure. And that's exactly what we want to harness. We want to extract the energy from the heat and pressure generated by a detonation. So you might wonder, why don't we already do this? And the simpler answer is, it's difficult. And until recently, we didn't even have the technology to attempt something like this. So, for my PhD, I'm working with an international collaborative research group based out of Berlin, Germany. Our objective is to design the world's first operational detonation engine. Now, a project as large and as complex as this has a number of different challenges associated with it. The challenge that I'm working to overcome is how to minimize the damage to the engine from the detonation itself. There's a very good reason that you think de destructive when I say detonation. Now, when a detonation occurs, it produces a wave that travels away from it faster than the speed of sound. That's faster than the speed my voice travels at to reach you. This wave is known as a shock wave and is not only responsible for generating the heat and pressure from which we want to extract the energy, but also for being potentially damaging to the engine itself. As you can see in the image series above, the detonation process produces a complex system of shock waves. The first part of my PhD involves studying the evolution of these waves in order to determine what impact they have on different parts of the engine. The second part of my PhD uses this understanding to design an engine that's resistant to wear. The end goal is to produce an engine that simultaneously harnesses the efficiency of detonations whilst remaining safe and reliable. And if we're successful in improving aircraft engine efficiency, then not only will we reduce global greenhouse gas emissions, but we might just make your next holiday cheaper. Thank you. For the presentation of the People's Choice Award, which is Brava Thremi from Engineering. <laughs> <laughs>